Let's go to 1 Timothy 2 and 9. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Let me say this before I start. I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to get anyone angry. So if you get angry, get angry at God. This is the Bible. My words are not in the Bible. Okay. So to the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. In like manner, also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What does adorn mean? Okay. Make more beautiful or attractive. Very good. What does modest mean? Having or showing regard for the decencies of behavior, speech, dress, etc. Decent. Okay. So, are leggings and yoga pants modest apparel? Wearing those bras that pushes out your breast, wearing these shirts exposing your back and your stomach, and wearing these jeans that make your shape look. Dressing in a seductive way. Is that modest apparel? No, it's not. It is not. Leggings and yoga pants. Those things show off your shape. They show off your behind, your butt, in great detail. <clears throat> if that is not bad enough, these women, these adults, allow their children to wear these things, showing off their bodies. How crazy is that? Think about that. How can you be okay with that? Little girls in the sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, eight years old, five years old, you are placing yoga pants and leggings on these little girls. If little girls are not being attacked enough, you are allowing them to wear these types of clothes. Everything is about heaven or hell or hell. You are either going to be ministering to people things of God or ministering to people things of demons. So when you go out, not dressing in a modest way, but exposing your bodies with these indecent clothes, who are you? You are a minister of demons. If I go out and I wear a shirt saying, I love Jesus or go and serve Jesus, if I go out and tell people, you need to serve God, you need to repent of your sins, who am I? I am a minister of God. Ministering is not only with your words, you can minister to a person by the way you live, by the way you dress, as I have explained. Think about that. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Let me say this. <laughs> Some people believe that 
Exposing your body makes you cute. If you dress in a sexual way, you are going to attract most guys. Just because you can attract many guys does not make you cute. Look, man, there can be a woman with no legs, no teeth. There are going to be some guys that would want to have sex with her. Why? Because there are dogs out there. When you see a male dog and a female dog, do you think the male dog cares about how that female dog looks? Or do you believe that he is going to have sex with that dog because that dog is cute? No. He is going to have sex with that dog because he is a dog. He doesn't care if that dog is cute. So when you bait yourself, baiting for dogs, that does not make you cute, that makes you bait. Bait and cuteness is not the same thing. My Lord. Let me say this, man. A person may say, well, if me exposing my body is going to put people in lust, perhaps they should not look. Okay, let's say that there is a guy that loves to beat his wife. Just beat the brakes off his wife. Just beat her down. Let's say he says, hey, I want to beat my wife in public. So he goes out in public and beats his wife. Then people are saying, hey, stop. You should not be doing that. Can't he say, hey, if you don't like it, just don't look. Then you may say, well, Kevin, beating your wife is wrong. It is a sin. <laughs> okay. What is 1 Timothy saying then? Obviously, it is an issue for it to be in the Bible. So, what are you going to say now? What excuse are you going to give to me now? Let me say this too. All women don't dress indecently. Let me just say that. Some do. This is why I am teaching on this. This is what the Bible is saying. Not Kev, but the Bible. So don't get mad at me. I love everyone. I love everyone because God commands everyone to love everyone. So if, so if I don't love you, I am in sin. And if I die in sin, I am going to hell. And I don't want to go to hell. So I love you. I love you all. <laughs> I am not going to hell. Okay. Modest apparel. With shame, facedness, and sobriety. So what is shame, facedness? Let's look it up. Modest or bashful. What is sobriety? Sobriety. From the translation, it says self-control. Okay. So what this is saying, dressed in a respectful way. Not trying to draw sexual attention from men and stuff like that. No. You can still look cute with modest clothing, respectable clothing. You don't have to wear something really baggy. You don't have to wear something really tight. Wear something that fits. 
fitting and something that is tight is not the same thing. Well, I feel like an old lady if I wear something that fits. That's a psychological issue there. That is a psychological issue. Okay. Sobriety. So that is self-control. Not with braided hair. I believe that is braided hair. Or gold, or pearls, or costly array. What is array? An impressive display or range of a particular type of thing. There is a vast array of literature on the topic. So what this is saying, dress in a respectful way. Don't dress in a way that is going to cause all of this sexual attention. You know, there are people who dye their hair bright pink and all of these crazy colors trying to draw attention to themselves. Whether when they was a child, they may have been abused, neglected, something bad may have happened to them. So they are seeking their attention by dressing indecently or doing something that is going to cause people to look upon them. What this is saying, don't do that. Whatever happened to you in the past, you are going to have to forgive and move on. You can't do all of this other stuff trying to get attention. That is wrong. So I pray that this makes sense. Don't be indecent. Just because guys are looking at you when you are dressing in whorish clothes does not mean that you are God's gift to men because you are attracting dogs. A good man is not going to be attracted by women like that. And if you find a good man and get married, my Lord, that is going to be very, very rare. That would be a blessing in disguise. If you are able to find a man to take you, the way you have to figure, if you are dressing like that now, you are going to dress like that even after marriage, unless you change, but chances are, who knows? But you are not going to find a good man dressing like that. Guys are going to see you, guys are going to see you as trash. Whether you are trash or not, they are going to see you that way. Like I said, there are many women out there that do dress modestly. They don't dress horse. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.